Hello all, welcome to AutoBody YouTube channel. Myself Dr. Nagarshan. Uh, today we are going to see how we can create a chart in uh, UiPath and how we can attach that, that chart to an email body uh, and uh, send it via uh, a Gmail account. Okay, so there can be uh, multiple requirements like uh, uh, we may be getting some data from a web page or uh, through some uh, uh, email or maybe from some other application and we need to uh, make a chart of that uh, particular data and uh, we need to send it maybe uh, 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 as a document in excel or maybe we'll have to send it as a uh, body to our uh, dls right so there can be multiple uh, requirements like this for doing the data analysis so uh, how how we can uh, do that for that actually in uh, ui path ui path has provided uh, multiple activities that help us to create different types of chart based on the input that we are uh, providing okay and we will get the output as uh, the chart uh, it can be of pie chart or can be of a bar chart like that are different charts that we can select and we can attach that chart to the email board so i'm going to show you how you can do that and what are the activities that uh, that will help us to uh, achieve that particular task okay so i already created a file that is demo.xls file and here we have role as well as count so uh, just consider these uh, uh, are the different uh, employees that are part of an organization and the count of those employees so i just want to get the uh, count uh, based on the uh, role okay and i need to create as a uh, chart so what i'm going to do is let me go to studio let me go to activities I'm going to use use Excel activity. Okay, we need to refer to demo.xls file. Okay, then what I'm going to do is let me search for chart. Okay, so if we uh, search for chart, you you will be able to find uh, three activities as well. Okay, get chart, insert chart, and update chart. So get chart is nothing but like so just consider. Uh, if you already created a chart in uh, Excel and you want to get it, uh, get that chart, then you can use a get chart activity. Okay, saves an Excel chart to an image file or to a clipboard for use in another activity. So the purpose is very simple. Like either you can save that particular chart to an image or you can copy that to a clipboard. Okay, so if you copy that to a clipboard, then you can use that uh, in an email body directly. Yeah, insert chart is nothing but it creates a new chart in Excel file and uh, update chart. Uh, means updates property of an existing excel chart like uh, just consider if you already have some chart and you are modifying some data and you need to uh, replace those changes to the chart means you can use a update chart activity so let me do one thing let me use insert chart activity okay so uh, i am going to choose pie chart okay here you have multiple types of charts are available okay area chart is the bar chart column chart then line chart pie chart scatter chart so you can choose any category and here i have uh, selected pie chart and either you can go with pie or uh, donut uh, chart and what should be the range let me do one thing let me use indicate in excel and i'm going to choose both these columns and four okay and insert into sheet which sheet i need to insert so let me select the sheet two okay and here they have asked for a save chart too okay so let me create a new variable sort where okay let me go to data manager and see what's the type of that chart so it is of type uipart.excel dot uh, chart ref reference okay here, um, uh, now the chart will get generated so uh, now uh, what's the next step we need to get that chart right so let me try to execute this and i will show you how the chart is generating compiling activities okay so we can see a chart got generated right so once this chart got generated we need to get this chart and we need to attach uh, in the uh, gmail uh, uh, email right so let me delete this save go to studio now what i'm going to do is let me switch for chart get chart activity 
Okay, from where I need to choose choose the chart. Hold chart to where? Okay, copy to clipboard. Then we need to use Gmail account. Use Gmail. Okay, let me select my Gmail that is already uh, mapped. So if you want to learn how you how to do this mapping, I already created multiple videos on the Gmail automation. You can watch those videos. Okay. So let me use send email activity. Drag and drop send email. Okay. So here we need to use the account. So what is account? It's Gmail. Then to address we need to provide. It's uh, uh, archil dot gmail .com. and subject I am going to put it like a chart demo. Okay, then go with HTML and here we need to write some content. Right? So hello all. This is a chart generated for the today's employee account. Okay, then I need to insert the chart. Okay, from a uh, clipboard then run because if you use get chart, that particular value will come to the clipboard. Okay, then we need to uh, paste that value from the clipboard during the execution. Okay, so let me click like okay. You can set the uh, length that okay, so like what are the height, width, and all that is required. You can set it all. Points and regards okay so that's it let me click on save now try to execute this compiling the activities Okay, so the execution is completed. Uh, okay, uh, here we need to uh, keep in mind one more thing. Okay, so if here if you enable this save a track, so if you use the send email activity by default, the save a track will be enabled. So if you want to send the email, you need to disable this. Okay, otherwise it will keep it in draft mode, and manually we will have to send it. So I just now I disabled it, and let me re-execute. Okay, so the execution is completed and we received the uh, chart demo. Okay, and we can see uh, the chart got uh, inserted to the email that we just generated. Okay, here all this is a chart generated for today's employee account with the pie chart that we generated. Okay, so this is how you can use these activities to uh, create as well as to get the chart from the uh, Excel and then to uh, send it via email. Okay, so hope you find it useful because uh, there can be multiple scenarios like uh, uh, you may need to send this to uh, <laughs> the particular management team by uh, uh, creating some chart based on the data that you are getting, maybe via email uh, or maybe from system, some, some system you are generating some data or maybe from database you are getting some data and you need to create some chart and send it uh, to the management, right? So for this kind of scenarios, you can use this approach for generating the Chart and this chart you can select based on your requirement, and then you need to uh, use sketch chart to get that to a uh, clipboard and then send it via email. Okay, I hope you find this video useful. And if you uh, find this video interesting, please like the video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So, thanks for watching the video. Bye.